Developing tonight, more than 100,000 new COVID-19 cases reported to the World Health Organization just since yesterday. That's the most in one day since the start of the pandemic. Nearly two-thirds of the daily cases reported were in just four countries. But the director of the WHO didn't identify which nations those are. You can see on the map from Johns Hopkins University, nearly 5 million confirmed cases counted this afternoon. The U.S. makes up the majority of those. So far, we account for 1.5 million of those cases. Dr. Alex Jahangir with Vanderbilt and also Metro's COVID-19 Task Force joins us right now. Dr. Jahangir, let's talk about this here. Is this the result of countries lifting bans or is there something else at work? Well, you know, I think, Lauren, we're still trying to figure out um, this virus. And I think what this is a great um, concern for us and to show that the speed of this virus is still building up. Just put it in perspective, it took 67 days for the first 100,000 cases to develop and then 11 days for the second 100,000 and then four days for the third 100,000. And now we're talking about 106,000 cases in 24 hours. So I think what this is just showing everyone is that this virus is continuing to be rampant throughout the world. And another interesting thing is I think you're starting to see um, concern in low-income countries in the southern hemisphere, which is something we had not seen before with this virus. Right. And there was even some talk about some of those countries not even reporting the number of cases accurately. Uh, well, let's talk about this. What do you think it means for the future as we see more and more cases begin to increase at this point? Well, I think, as, as we've discussed before, as, is you need to until there is a vaccine, this virus will be with us. And, and the key for whether it's the United States or Tennessee or Brazil or Russia, and Russia is actually the second highest um, volume of, of cases reported yesterday, 9,000, is, is that you, this, the practices that we've talked about from social distancing to wearing masks really need to last for a long time. And, and we're going to see these fluctuations up and down um, for the next many months, I believe, until, until we have that vaccine or a really good treatment that will take care of this. All right, Dr. Alex Jahangir, thanks so much for your work on the COVID-19 Task Force and for joining us tonight. Thank you so much.